Hi all, in this lecture we will talk about CCA 175 real time exam scenario 1. In CCA 175, each question contains a data description section and the output requirement section. In data description, it tells you about the input data that is its location in HDFS, the file format, delimiter and schema. And the output requirement contains multiple sub requirements. We have to understand each and every sub requirement clearly in order to answer the question correctly. So let's look into the requirement. This is the data description. It says that all customer records are stored in the HDFS directory provided the path. Data is in text format and data is tab delimited. And this is the schema of data. It is customer's data which contains the column customer ID, customer first name, last name, email, password, street, city, state and zip code. Let's talk about the output requirement. The output requirement says that output all the customers who live in California. Use text format for the output files. Place the data result in a specific location provided the path. Result should only contain records that have state value as CA and finally output should only contains customer full name. So if you see here we have multiple sub requirements. So first of all we should be able to read a tab delimited file in spa. Then after reading a tab del delimited file we should be able to apply a filter operation and filter out the data, filter out the records wherein customer state is equal to California. Then on top of that data in the output we just need one column that is customer's full name and that will be derived from customer first name and last name. And finally we have to save the data back into HDFS in text format. So let's go to the lab and see. So let's read customer data now. I'll be writing the code in a text editor and then I'll simply copy and paste the code in Spark Shell. So let's say we want to read the customer data where custdf is equal to spark dot read let's say we want to infer the schema from the data itself so we'll be providing infer schema and the value will be true after that we will be providing the delimiter because the data is tab separated so i'm gonna say dot option delimiter and the value will be backslash t for tab separator after that, I'll be providing the path, CSV, file path, and the path will be customers-tab-delimited. Okay, so let's copy the data and simply paste it in Spark Shell. This is my Spark Shell. Let's paste it here. Okay, so we got the customer DF. Let's see the data. We can do customer DF dot show and just give me top five records. This is how the customer data looks like. As you can see, the column names are underscore C0, underscore C1 and so on. So we can also work with these column names. But what I'll do is I'll provide a logical column name. So let's do that. Now what we can do is we can provide the column name using 2DF function. These are our column names. Just copy the code again. Go back to shell and paste it. So let us see the data of customer df again. Okay, so this time we have logical column names. Now the requirement says that filter the data where customer state is equal to CA, California. So what we'll be doing is we'll be saying again let's go back to the text editor. We will say that where result is equal to the cust df that we created above dot filter and inside filter we will be saying give me the data where customer underscore state its value is equal to ca now the output requirement says that the output data frame 
should only contain one column that is the customer name and we can create customer name by two different columns customer underscore f name and customer underscore l name so let's do that so we can say dot select inside dot select we can say concat underscore ws and the first parameter is the separator then we will provide the first column name which is customer underscore f name and the second column name which is customer underscore l name and we should also provide a meaningful name to this column so we can say dot alias and let's say the name of the column will be customer underscore name so this is what I want let's copy the code and paste it in spark shell so this is my spark shell let's let's paste it here now we got a new data frame result let's see some of the data result dot show and give me top five records okay now we can see that we are able to create a new data frame with just one column customer underscore name okay now the final requirement is that save this data in text format in HDFS so let's do that so to save the data in text format we will be saying result dot write which returns a data frame writer and then we can say in text result dot write dot text and providing the path the path is this so let's save the data so we are able to save the data in hdfs let's validate let's copy the path and we will be doing hdfs dfs hyphen ls providing the path this is my path okay so we can clearly see that we have a partition file here which is in txt format this file is ending with .txt extension we can also see the data so for for looking into the data we can say hdfs dfs hyphen tail and providing the path of the txt file we should be able to see just one value one column with first name space last name so this is one way of solving the problem statement using data frame functions we can also use spark sql structured query language to solve this problem statement let's look into that so let's copy the original data frame that we created this is my original data frame we created let's copy it in spark shell now what i'm gonna do is I'll be creating, I'll be registering this data frame as a temp view. So I'll have to say cust df dot create or replace temp view and providing it a name. So for example, cust underscore view. Now, after registering it as a temp view, we can fire a skill query on top of this. So let's see. Well, result is equal to spark.sql and in spark.sql we can provide a query so if you want to write multi-line query you should use triple quotes here what I'm gonna do is let me just write the query in the text editor and we'll be pasting it here so the query will be the query will be select concat ws because we just want single column and the value will be separator and customer underscore first name customer underscore last name this is my column let's provide a column name customer underscore name okay from cust underscore view name of the temp view that we created where customer underscore state is equal to C so this is our query now 
copy the query and go back to the shell and just paste it okay triple quotes for ending the query and like that let's see the result now so i'm going to clear the screen first of all and let's say result dot show just show me five records okay so again we are able to solve the problem using a sql query now and we can save the data frame in hdfs like we did earlier so we will be saying but this time the data frame already exists so, so i'm going to specify save mode as overwrite let's see that for that i have to import org dot apache dot spark dot sql and import everything and i'm going to say result dot write dot mode and my mode is save mode dot overwrite overwrite the existing path and then i'm going to say save the data in text format providing the path and my path will be and we are done so again we can go to the other console that we have and we can verify hdfs dfs hyphen ls providing the path we should be able to see a text file here to see the content of the file we can just use the command hdfs dfs hyphen tail and providing the path and this is the data so we are able to solve the problem statement using data frame approach using data frame and we are also able to solve this problem using a sql query Thank you.